This instructional video is going to demonstrate arthroscopic knotless double row extended linked repair of a massive posterior superior rotator cuff tear. Here you see the MRI of the patient. It's a 56 year old gentleman with an acute massive posterior superior rotator cuff tear involving the supraspinatus, infraspinatus, and the upper portion of the teres minor. It's a very large tear and this tear will require a double row repair with an extended linked speed bridge construct. We'll show an example using eight anchors, four medially and four laterally to repair this tear. The arthroscopic surgery is performed under general anesthesia with an additional interscaling catheter as needed. The patient is placed in the modified beach chair position with a pneumatic arm holder. Standard posterior and anterior superior portals are created and diagnostic arthroscopy is performed. This reveals a massive posterior superior rotator cuff tear involving complete ruptures of the supraspinatus, infraspinatus, and teres minor tendons. Debridement with lice of adhesions around the rotator cuff tendon is performed to mobilize the tendon. The greater tuberosity footprint is prepared using an arthroscopic shaver so that we can demonstrate the entire footprint. The initial anchor is placed anteriorly and the second anchor is placed posteriorly. Working from outside in helps avoid the formation of dog ears. Here you see the anterior anchor going in. Four 4.75 millimeter biocomposite swivel lock anchors loaded with fiber tape are placed medially in the rotator cuff footprint adjacent to the articular cartilage margin of the humeral head. We grasp the tendon and then pass through with a suture lasso. This is a 90 degree straight suture lasso and then we shuttle the fiber tape sutures back through the tendon. Posterior medial anchor is placed. It's important to pass your sutures just lateral to the muscle tendon junction to avoid any damage. And then we place the additional two medial anchors. So here we have eight strands of fiber tape suture. The lateral row consists of four additional 4.75 millimeter biocomposite swivel lock anchors. By tensioning the fiber tapes through the eyelet of the swivel lock anchor, the rotator cuff is compressed back down onto the footprint using an extended length speed bridge repair technique. This is repeated for each of the four lateral row anchors. We're visualizing from posterior laterally. Now we're visualizing from anterior laterally, placing our posterior lateral anchor. This linked double row construct offers self reinforcement and a decreased risk of suture cut through. We'll work towards the center, again retrieving the two sutures, working towards the middle. It's important to plan for your anchor location so that you have enough bone to achieve fixation. The color coding of the fiber tapes with blue and alternating blue and white helps to determine which strands of the meter row are combined in which anchor of the lateral row. The complete repair with eight anchors is visualized demonstrating a low profile complete closure of the rotator cuff around the humeral head. Physical therapy is started with early passive range of motion. We can typically progress to active and active assisted motion at four weeks, as is being demonstrated here, with active forward elevation starting at about four weeks and strengthening starting at about six to eight weeks for a large tear when there's a good quality tissue.